Andrew, thanks for being here. We got a few people who've worked on the King movie. Uh, we're all going to ask one question if you would be willing to answer. I'll ask the first question, and that's overall, what did you think of King? Uh, I thought it was a really great film. Interesting from the beginning, you know, captures your attention early. Story develops interesting. I liked the character development of the King character in particular, but I thought it was just a really well-rounded film that, uh, you know, from start to finish, just really told an interesting story. I like that. Um, besides King, who did you say your favorite character was? Uh, I thought that outside of King, my favorite character was probably Anon. I really liked his character because he's such an important part of the film and generally you don't get those kind of characters like that where they're playing such a key role but you don't know kind of what they're doing. You don't see their perspective at all and you don't even know, you know, what they look like or anything like that. And so I thought it was really interesting the way that he was kind of a... He was a key piece of the film, but he was completely up to your imagination in terms of what you wanted him to be as a character, and I thought the reveal at the end, uh, later in the film, was very interesting because of that. Beautiful. Um, this is uh, kind of coming more at it from a cinematic um, perspective. The, the film was written, starred, and directed all by Kyle Calderwood. Do you think the vision that he had for this film was able to come through and overall what are your thoughts about one person performing all those three roles? Uh, you know I think it's really a tough challenge to take on to do all of those roles all at once because the fact that you you kinda have to take it all on you know you in in one sense you have the ability to create the vision you want for the film because you're actually playing in it but at the same time you have to be able to prevent your you know, your heavy involvement in the film from kind of taking over and making everything exactly the way you want it to be because you do have other people that are playing other key parts in the movie, both in production and in the acting, that are going to have important input that you need to take on. And I think he did a good job of combining, combining his vision of what he wanted the film to be, um, you know, with the great influence he has over the path that the film takes to make a product that's not just, you know, what he dreamed up in his head before he made the film, but also something that is kind of a combination of the input of everybody that was involved. Hey guys, my name's Logan, I just watched King, and I'm going to answer a few questions. Alright, um, so first question, you know, anytime you have a protagonist that is so incredibly diverse and talented, like like the example of the director himself, King, it can sometimes be difficult to see the vision for the rest of the film. How did you feel like the overall development of the protagonist, who is also the director, Kyle Calderwood, contributed to the greater picture of the film? Wow. It's yeah. Work. King, you know, King is Kyle's movie, man. At heart, this is, this is a Kyle Calderwood film, like. And I loved watching his vision come into fruition out on the big screen. It was really special to me because Kyle's a dear, dear friend. And I know that he took on this passion piece and it, you know, it wasn't always easy. The resources were tough. I know he borrowed cameras to start out from the school. And I love that about the film. It's a grassroots film and I think it shone through and I think it excelled expectations. And I think this is the start of something big for Kyle. Wow, that's powerful. I, I appreciate that coming from you, man. Thank you. Um, so I'm guessing you enjoyed the film, and do you have any uh, cri criticisms of it? Um, you know, I'm going to keep my criticisms for Kyle behind the scenes. Uh, that's my boy. I love the film. He exceeded expectations in every way with this passion project. I loved watching it. It was good cinematically. The storyline was good. And I mean, you know, there's things you could work on, but I'm going to keep that behind the scenes. I'm going to keep that between me and him and get ready for the next volume, the next movie, the next work, the next art, the next thing we put forth. Keep your eyes out, guys. So this being Kyle's first project and um, I'm sure the first of many, are you, does this get you excited for the future and hopefully better films that he's going to make? Oh, if I had to pick one emotion to describe myself right now, it's excited. I'm excited for the future, I'm excited for what I just saw, and Kyle's got a talented bunch, he has the resources he needs now, he's got the camera equipment, and we're going to stay grassroots, we're going to stay organic, we're not going to get signed to any major film labels right off the bat, 
We're gonna come from the bottom and just just watch. All right. Any other questions for Logan? What about like a generic statement about the film, like something that could be generic? Good to write. Riveting front to back. Well, I just want to say, guys, go see King. All right, check it out. Support my boy. Kyle put out a great work. He put his time, his energy, his soul into this into this piece of art. Go see it. Tell me if you like it. I loved it, and go see King. All right, thanks, Lux. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I uh, got up there and I start just started talking and. I've never retired from anything, but I went up there and I, I really felt like I had, and it was crazy that like uh, I was able to put that mask on. And people in that class, I kind of think always kind of saw me as like, like a class clown. Like I made some people laugh and stuff. So when I got up there and just showed some emotion, it was it was cool. Like people, they weren't, I don't think they were expecting it. What type of emotion would you say you were showing? Uh, like the the sad end of, really? like, of like ecstasy right. in a way. Like I was so happy, but like. Sad that this chapter of my life was ending. The sad side of ecstasy? Yeah. Should that be an album? Probably. Yes. <laughs> the sad side of ecstasy. But yeah. Um, Why should that be our description of the end of this film? I don't really know how it ends, <laughs> but... So, Pat. The sad you, side of ecstasy. How do you feel about the end of that movie? It's like the sad just side of ecstasy. The sadness and ecstasy. That's tight. <laughs> just want to get <laughs> some good vids, vlogs. Sad side of ecstasy. You have to have the good to appreciate the bad. You know. That's right, dude. It's it's weird though because like a lot of the times, it feels like the people that have appreciate that it's have the most appreciation for the good. Design movies and shit. It's happened that creative. So let's do it. Let's make a film. Let's Keep talking, real Pat. Dude, what if we did a series of interviews like a documentary? I can't talk with him in the background. Down. It'd be sick. <laughs> <laughs> Just arbitrary things that don't Did really you? make that much sense. No, but no. Bitch, bitch.